Hello there, you beautiful Gunpla enthusiasts. Uh, this is a quick review of the Infinite Dimension Genesis, a beautiful third party Gunpla. A little bit loose all over the place, but uh, overall amazing, amazing, so beautiful. Color separation on point and uh, details are on point. Uh, the fin so beautiful I pan panel lined everything and it looks so crisp they move up and down left and right if you want to uh, the motion all over uh, the Gampla it's uh, really nice uh, you have the back fin which moves up and down and so many little details I painted silver metallic blue and the baby metallic blue some parts the fins move up and down uh, i painted the uh, the crown the metallic blue also uh, the problem with this build is that it's a bomb it's a huge bomb don't play with it or fiddle with it too much everything falls apart parts panels uh, body parts, everything falls apart when you play with it too much. Um, it's frustrating. I will, I wanted to throw it away at some point. Uh, by the way, forgive me for the for the point of view. Uh, the footage was taken with a phone camera without a stand, so I had to improvise. Uh, I panelized, ev uh, like I said, everything silver. Not everything, but some uh, imported. Uh, metallic parts you can see so many details this is his broken wrist over here that I fixed uh, later and the clear parts are so nice move up and down uh, these parts transform later into this over here but I'm not gonna transform it because I'm not a masochist the transformation it's absolutely uh, horrible everything falls apart and it's a little bit complicated uh, other than that the movement is nice some parts move not too much but uh, enough uh, i tried to show you some uh, foot movement over here and the pistons uh, are a little bit blurry and uh, everything as i said everything falls apart you can glue the parts together but I didn't want to do that because uh, maybe I do something else with them later. Um, the head, it's so beautiful. It's my favorite, one of my favorite parts. The skirt is also really, really nice. It can move uh, multiple directions, left and right, up and down. Uh, the front skirt also really detailed. I painted some... Uh, stuff over there uh, like always uh, parts fall apart but you can put them easily right back on just don't play with it too much just build it uh, hang it on uh, uh, put it in a stand and just <laughs> look at it the back skirts uh, go up and down left and right uh, really nice movement over there um, you can see uh, the clear parts on uh, this build are small but uh, they really show off their beauty and uh, the orange here on the camera doesn't do it justice or, or up close it's so much brighter uh, the up oh, the hand fell the wrist the whole wrist fell off over here so like I said a bump don't touch it too much uh, this is his beautiful shield look how beautiful this is I painted the back of it the pipes uh, metallic red uh, the exhaust gold and this is the attachment uh, the bracket that attaches to your hand so you can hold it and this is his beautiful rifle this is one of the best rifles in third-party gamma that I've seen uh, this beautiful visor uh, up front with some clear parts I painted uh, the pistons and some uh, decals in gold copper and silver and the decals are so nice this part opens you can tuck this part in but you have to remove the peg first and when you want to attach it you just uh, put the peg on and do this thing 
<laughs> take it off and attach it to your hand. Uh, the back and the undercarriage of the rifle is so beautiful. Every little side of the rifle uh, was amazing, with so very detailed and really, really beautiful. This is the manual. The manual also really detailed. Uh, it says uh, which runners do you want for which parts and it was a smooth process all the way and at the end you have a map of, of the water uh, slide decals where you should put them. Over, uh, overall really nice, uh, really satisfied. And this is the stand. I really like the stand. I painted gold all the pipes again and this is a really really nice stand. I didn't expect this and you can push this button over there and you can move up and down this part you can close it to put it in place and uh, very nice detailing you can see over here I mean the close-up is shitty but whatever it can go up and down which is really cool and you have this thing over here which I don't know which what is for and these are the adapters for the Genesis butt so you can hook him up and you have this option here to put on your stand it's two-sided it has this side which is cool with the illustration and this this simple side which I prefer and uh, this uh, transparent uh, thing so it can be protected from uh, liquids or dust it's really thoughtful and in general i was really really surprised from this stand bandai can learn some things from this stand and with it was free with the genesis so yeah, this is the beautiful, beautiful hank of a man, Infinite Dimension Genesis, and I love this head and these fins, and I was really pleased with this Gambler. I would buy it again, but once you build it, you don't touch it, because it's gonna fall apart. And that transformation is horrendous. I'm not gonna do it ever in my life. Thank you for watching.